Hello there. In 1914, the ruling family of most of Europe formed one big family, literally. Um, they were cousins or second cousins of each other. The various kings were strongly related by marriage. And yet the First World War happened and this united family ended up on different sides, gave themselves different names and basically became antagonistic in uh, as strong a way as is plausible to happen. Conversely, Italian-Americans uh, used to be very dubious and strange foreigners and are now basically perfectly integrated into mainstream American society. What this shows is that it's very difficult for a subculture to remain cohesive when it's spread out in different places and has different goals. And conversely, it's very difficult for two cultures to remain separate uh, unless there's something that's pushing them apart. Which brings us to the vampire clans. As archetypes, these are wonderful. But as clans, as families, these don't really seem to make much sense. Now, maybe you, the Tremere, that's sort of an organization. Um, you could go with the Setite, who are more of a religion, but still, the clans, I mean, I know why the clans are used this way. It's a useful way of classifying things and an in easy introduction to the game, but the clans should not be staying together. It should not be that when a Bruja makes a move to become prince, that they get support from other Brujas and are opposed by the Ventru. Um, the Brujas famously can't, um, can't work together uh, in any capacity, and there should be ambitious Ventrus who are supporting them against their fellow Ventrus. Um, why would any clan stick together at all? Now, there's blood ties and stuff like that, which sort of hand waves it away. But if that's the case, then why is not more made of it? The only time that that issue comes up is because you want to keep everything clean and have primogens from each clan. So my uh, take on this is scratch the clans as clans. As I say, the Tremere sort of makes sense. They're an organization. Something like the Setites, maybe. Um, the Salubri, possibly. I mean, they're hunted, so they should stick together. But the rest, they should not be uh, clans. That should be your archetype. And maybe there's a slight bond of brotherhood that they're more likely to work together. But in a city where the Bruja and the Ventru have been mingling for 200 years, you're going to find factions there that have nothing to do with the clans. There's no force keeping the clans consistent, keeping them allied against their other enemies. So my recommendation is that in games of Vampire, mix up the clans. The clan is relevant for the power and for the archetypes, but is not relevant for who has your back and who is your enemy. Of course, in Vampire, nobody has your back unless they're going to sink their fans into it. But he, who is going to at least wait a while before backstabbing you? Anyway, thanks for listening.